Hey, Rollerbitters, welcome back. Thanks for being here. So maybe you're interested in this new discipline of inline skating called wizard skating, and you want to check out some wizard advanced frames here. Uh, well, you're in the right place. One of the local skaters here in San Antonio, Texas reached out and he wished to remain anonymous, uh, which I totally respect, but I will send my eternal gratitude to you. I think we have the best community here at iRollerBoot. He wanted to reach out. These frames are not cheap, so he saw that there was a lack of content on them, wanted to give them some exposure in case you or someone wanted to invest in them because again, they're not cheap. I don't have a lot of experience, or really any experience wizard skating, but a lot of you have asked me to at least give it a shot or give it a go. So we're gonna take a look at these frames and then we're gonna actually be skating them here uh, in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. Uh, ring the bell and check your notification settings so you get push notifications as soon as uh, I release new videos. So the cool thing about wizard skating is that they used rockered frames. Some of them are really wild, like these advanced frames that we're gonna be taking a look at are really wild, but they allow you to do these really unique maneuvers and kind of carving and, and pivots that are super unique to wizard skating. And I think it's really cool. It's a really cool way to complement either your aggressive inline skating or any other sort of skating. I think they go hand in hand and they complement each other. They don't necessarily have to be mutually exclusive at all. While wizard skating, from what I understand, is its own discipline, it's also its own brand. If we go over to wizardskating.com, you can buy your whole wizard setup, a complete wizard setup for $1,200 uh, US, although it is uh, unavailable right now. But today we're just gonna be talking about the frames. But just so you know, they sell wheels, frames, boots. I think they have a partnership with Seba or however that works. But we're just gonna be looking at the Wizard Advance frames in this video, which as you can see are $450. You can have these frames in any color you want so long as it's raw silver. And here's what's cool is there's two frame sizes. You can have 100 millimeter wheels on the, the, on the two ends, 80 millimeter wheels for the three middle. That's just for size 43 and above. And then you can bump up to 84 millimeter wheels wheels for the middle three uh, for, for boot sizes 44 EU and above. And you have the option to add um, the wheel kit. So if you don't want to source your own wheels and you just want wheels that are going to work, uh, they will uh, sell you some Junk Voodoo Pro wheels and rust proof bearings. And that adds about uh, just over 200 bucks to the price. Uh, so after several years of testing different frame lengths and wheel sizes, we are proud to present our most specialized wizard skating frames to date. The Wizard Advanced Frames are an evolution of our Progressive Rocker PR frames, which means, um, like we mentioned earlier, they have larger wheels on the outside and smaller wheels on the inside. Uh, developed for experienced Wizard skaters looking to advance their skills to a new level. Designed with the combination of 100mm outer wheels and 80 or 84 millimeter inner wheels, depending on your boot size, the outer wheels extend beyond and above the boot's base to provide a superior or to provide superior balance for toe and heel tricks, while three smaller wheels under the foot help maintain a low center of gravity, which should give you more control, and shorter effective contact, which should give you more maneuverability. And some of the features, we talked about progressive rock, rocker, and that's where those two big wheels are on the end, smaller in the middle. These are UFS frames, so you can pop these on any UFS compatible boots that you'd like. Uh, from what I understand, you really wanna have boots that have a lot more support than not. I don't think it's recommended to put these on like cuffless rims, but I'm sure you could. <laughs> they come with axles, they come with all the hardware you're gonna to need to bolt these up and everything like that. Okay, so again, these frames are designed with the boot size in mind to allow the outer wheels to extend beyond and above the boot's base dot 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 meaning that the smaller frame option will not physically fit on larger boots so you can see this picture on this soul.com this is actually where uh the skater the owner bought his gear from or bought the frames from uh, and you can see how the front wheels come quite a bit higher than the base of the boot so if you were to put the small these these are actually the size small frames that we're going to be taking a look at but if you were to try to put the size small frames on a boot that is too big you can see that the toe would be rubbing the boot or the heel would be I'm sorry, the toe would be rubbing the wheel or the heel would be rubbing the wheel or potentially both, so. Okay, and I think that's enough talking. We're gonna go ahead and open these things up, right, cha, and um, take a look at them, get some wheels mounted on them and see what we got. So again, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and let's take a look at these wizard advanced frames.
All right, there she is. All right, so it looks like you do get a little sticker from Wizard, which is cool. And then, yeah, really nice. Come separately packaged, so it's the frame and it's kind of main compartment. And then the hardware, both the axles and the mounting hardware in its own compartment. So we'll carefully open this up and take a look. Beautiful, wow. It's like a piece of art jewelry. And two frame bolts, two washers, and the four, one, two, three, I'm sorry, five. <laughs> I'm used to four, but the five axles there. How pretty are these, man? Wow. Very, very stiff. Holy cow. Very stiff. You can see there's really no internal, like cross member type supports. So for this to be this stiff, goodness gracious, very impressive. 100 millimeter, 80, 100 millimeter on the outer wheels here, and then 80 millimeter on the inner or the inner three wheels. Take another couple looks at it. I feel bad for putting smudges on this thing. I wanna keep it nice and clean. <laughs> oh cool, and they even have it labeled. If you can see it front. So they have the 180 in the rear and then front in the front. Maybe a little ASMR action. Ding, 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 dinner's ready. So I mean, that's all you got for the aggressive bubbas out there who are used to having, you know, two-sided axles. These just go on one side, screw right in, which is pretty cool. Kind of minimizes the amount of hardware they have to mess around with. So there you go. Wizard Advanced Frame, size small. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the wheels, the wheel kit that came with them. As well, we'll go ahead and through the magic of video editing, go ahead and make these set up right now. Voodoo Pros here. I'm not sure exactly what the durometers, or durometer is here. It just says 100X firm. There you have it. And they definitely feel quite swibbly. That's for sure. I'm applying some pressure. It's hard to tell, but I'm applying pressure downwards and they are very turny. I don't know if turny is a word, but a little bit of the profile on the wheels themselves so you can take a look at it. Super amped to, uh, and by the way, these wheels were really easy to install. Uh, I feel like with some metal frames, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get the wheels in there. But with these, uh, it was a piece of cake. And the bearings go in the hubs really easily as well. So I'm going to be skating these. Admittedly, these are the Wizard Advanced frames. They recommend these for advanced Wizard skaters which makes sense given the name. However, I'm going to be giving these a crack, so definitely stay tuned to watch me skate these. Pretty sure that you're supposed to be skating, you're supposed to skate them like this, right? We're gonna be skating these here very soon in the next video or two, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to hit the uh, notification bell, check your notification settings, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to help get uh, rollerblading content out to more people here on YouTube. And with that, roller booters, get out there and wizard skate. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.